Hi, I'm Laura Lynn. I'm standing on top of a mound in Towner's Woods, which is in Kent, Ohio. And this particular mound, they call a Hopewell Mound. And Hopewell was actually a culture that spanned much of the United States, but seemed to centralize in Ohio, in the Ohio region, or what we know now of Ohio region. And the culture was really interesting. It had a, a very strong, intricate network of, of trails, which would be basically the barter system for, for trading beads, perhaps seeds, foods, perhaps. So it's been very interesting to, to do some research on this. But the real reason why I'm here today is to share with you what I got from my spirit guide who is named Spotted Owl. I've been speaking with Spotted Owl since I was five years old and I believe he is really interesting and I always believe what he, he comes forward with. So on one particular occasion I was on a mound over in West Virginia and I started asking a series of questions about certain things about mounds I was interested in and one of the things I asked is why did they bury people in mounds what was the purpose of that and he said that it was because the mound represented the womb the mother and they thought of the mother as very sacred in fact at the time when the the tribes or the clans these families existed they really revered the mother as the chief and as the sacred energy of wisdom so that was a, a sacred way to honor the mother honor earth and to be able to place the the family member into the womb was a way of what i was told of celebration they would look up at the stars and they would pick one of the beautiful stars and that's where the mound would start. And this was usually a, a woman that was the first one placed in the mound from what I understand. And then the celebration would be there every time the particular star aligned with the mound, they would celebrate, the family would come together and celebrate this life. I felt like when I was hearing this that I could almost sense the spirits or the energy celebrating this great truth. It was a fascinating venture to hear this and also they talked about or he talked about rather the fact that these people were bundled and placed in a, in a fetal position which basically brought them back to being the child of the earth and there was times when they would also burn the remains after animals would basically strip the the the, the skin off off the the bones they would allow the the sun to bleach the bones and then they would bundle the bones together and place it into the mound there was also another option that they would have or and I don't know why one burial would be one way and one another but they would actually make a hut and he told me that this was more for the masculine um, for the men that they would make a hut they would place the man under this hut they would burn it and then they would put place the mound the dirt over this this wooden uh, shelter that was burned so it's very interesting i you know can't tell you if it's true or not all i can do is share with you what i was told from my 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 spirit guide spotted owl so every once in a while i'm going to bring little tidbits of things that i've learned through spotted owl and through my other channels and i'm going to go to interesting places and share with you what i'm feeling so this is a great woods to come in if you're interested in paranormal investigation. The, the woods seems to offer a lot of different spirited activity, elemental 
energy is is really rampant here or maybe the, what i would refer to as the fey or fairy realm is very powerful here also <laughs> it's got a lot of wildlife there's an eagle that flies here great horned owls Oftentimes you can hear the screeched owls while you're walking in this woods. It's just a very interesting, alive place to tap into energy of all sorts of energy. So I hope you join us here sometime and, and also enjoy this place. So I hope you join me again in a future video. Thank you.